we all need to know that we're valuable as human beings, that our life is significant and it does count. All you have to do is look around here to see just the thousands and thousands of people who need, who have all these different needs. You say, well, what is it that I've got to offer? You know, the building houses was what I felt I could do. My stated goal was a million houses in India. And, you know, you could say, well, that's crazy, or you could say, well, that's too small. We want to build houses for as many people as we can. The person has to be either a widow or physically handicapped or, in an extreme case, like, unable to look after themselves. In the communities that we work in here in South India, those people are traditionally pushed to the very edges of the community and denied a lot of opportunities that other people have. It's not through any fault of their own. They have a ceremony when a girl becomes a widow and they actually rip off her marriage necklace and break her bangles and, and so they, they, they take everything away from them so they really degrade them. And there's a lot of stigma around widows and families reject them and sometimes might blame them for the deaths of their husbands. The வழியுமே இல்லை <laughs> A friend of mine once said, you know, you can drive through a village and you can spot a widow's house. You know, it's usually the one that looks like it's about to fall to pieces. Every house we replace is, is built out of palm branches and it may have no walls. It may have walls that are about two feet high. They cut palm logs into strips of wood that don't last. Every two years, the mati is going அப்போ வந்து ரொம்ப பரவாயில்ல இப்போலாம் அந்த ஷெட்டு மாற்றின விட டென் தௌசண்ட் அதனால் அது அவங்களால அந்த டென் தௌசண்ட்றது அவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் சான்ஸே இல்லை அதனால் மாற்றாமலே அப்படியே வச்சுட்டு அப்புறம் என்ன சாணி இருக்குதுல்ல அதை தான் போட்டு மொழுவோம் மாட்டு சாணி அதை போட்டு தான் மொழுவோம் ரெண்டாவது இந்த இது இன்செக்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் நிறைய இந்த தேள் பாம்பெல்லாம் மேலெல்லாம் இருக்கும் அதெல்லாம் டேஞ்சரஸ் அப்புறம் மன கஷ்டமாக தான் படுத்திருப்பேன் உங்களுக்கு எப்போ தான் நல்ல வேலை அவங்க பார்க்கும்போது எப்படி என்ன இதுலேயே படுத்துருக்கணும் அன்னைக்கு வந்து ஆண்டவர் சொன்னார் உனக்கு நல்ல வயல் காட்டுறேன் அதே மாதிரி நல்ல மாதிரியா இது அமைஞ்சு You know, I lie awake at night for hours, <laughs> thinking of, you know, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. Engineers are problem solvers, and so I love a problem. You know, if you give me a problem, I want to solve it. These are the panels that we use for roofing, or for the ceilings of the houses. So these have been, these have been made and ready for going up on the ceiling. You get a house free of charge, absolutely no strings attached. We don't expect anything from you, but we want you to know that somebody loves you, and this is an expression of that. We want to show people their value and when you see that on their faces, then it's great. I think when you look at what people need in life, shelter, food, community, love, I think a house is tangible evidence of that. It's so concrete that it embodies all those things. A house is, a, is an incredible tool to build a home and a family. இந்த வீடு நல்லா என்ன வேற எதுனா நல்லா தான் இருக்கும் அப்புறம் என்ன பண்ணுறது இதை பற்றி நம்மளுக்கு என்ன பண்ணுற மாரி தோணுதுனா நம்ம மீண்டும் எப்படி ஏது என்ன பண்ண போகிறோம் அப்படின்லாம் தான் எங்கள் வாழ்க்கையை பற்றி தான் ஓசி ஒன் டைம் சிரிங் இந்த வில்லேஜஸ் நான் சிங்கிங் 
what am I doing here? You know, this is crazy. There are mosquitoes around. I could get malaria. There are all sorts of diseases. It's hot. It's stinky. What am I doing here? And I just suddenly had this like epiphany, you know, that no, not many other people have this opportunity, you know, that in actual fact it's a great privilege. I think it's hope as opposed to hopelessness. Hope for something, something better to happen in their lives. And so I think when, when you see a seed of hope planted in the lives of, com of a community, there's hope for improvement, hope for things to get better.